Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is August the 20th, 2020. We're going to talk about XRP today, give you all an update. Let's try to figure out what's next for this cryptocurrency in the short term, i.e. I'm simply talking about the next couple of days. We're going to give you all the forecast prediction as to where the price in X is going to go. Now, there are times to where the trap is undecided on where he wants to take the value of the product. So we have to keep that in mind as we continue to track the value of these cryptocurrencies going forward. Now, the last time we did our video on XRP was on the 17th of August, 2020. And we were expecting a value of then X to go higher in price, and it did. Now, before I give you all this update, this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate our content and the simplicity in our charts, the simplicity in our speech and understanding what's likely to occur before it actually happens, join us right here on this platform. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and then join us on our own website. It's that simple. The website is free. Just join, sign up, and you have access to all of our other information there. Now let's start to begin. The 17th was when we did our last video in XRP. Now we've been tracking the anticipation of higher prices in XRP all the way back since the 11th and we didn't change or alter our forecast. We were still seeing hints that the trap was going to increase the value of the market in X. And that is precisely what has occurred. Ultimate TP was had on the 17th of August. So 7.33 percent profitability in the market right there it's that simple and it's not hard nor is it complicated to understand what he or she is going to move the market now let's get rid of it and we need to revise our price chart because you can tell the market generally is not even trading in between our two lines on this chart that means we need to alter it and change it around is that easy now can you tell can you see where the market restriction really is if not i'm gonna show it to you it's right here this is where the market restriction for x is coming in at 32 cents Okay. Next question. Where is support? That one is kind of hard to to grasp and see. But it's around 28 cents. Okay. So it's around this vicinity 28 cents is where the support area for XRP is being revealed now generally okay I want you all to tell that the market is really in a consolidation of range we're not trending in an upward fashion nor are we trending in a downward fashion we're just holding a range and when opportunities like this happen it gives you ample amount of time to anticipate where it's going to be the next move for X. Now, some people, as you can tell, the market in X did in fact stray away from this massive trend that we were in. And it's been confirmed that that upward trend that X was going through is now trending sideways so with that being stated we're not looking for xrp to go higher at this particular moment just because this market broke that upward trend so the best thing that we're going to get is these two lines right here drawn on my chart for support and restriction that's it as we go throughout these next couple of days of trading, we'll definitely have to keep our eyes open on the market trying to hold support 
at 28 cents. We need to see strength come into the market at 28 cents. And currently, the weakness is dominating the market in X. Now, let's look at the market in X on a weekly time frame real quick. And now you can tell we're getting a better idea long term as to how the market feels in X right now. Now, we got three days, so don't be too reliant on this weekly price chart. Not yet. But you're seeing in combination of the last three consecutive weeks that, yeah, that 32 cent area is in fact showing itself as a restriction point. And it's 28 cent. It's even more important for the long term that the market holds it, because if we don't, the market in X can come all the way back down to 26 and a half cents, all the way back down to 25 even. Or 25 cents. I'm just giving you all the heads up on that. So taking it back over to the daily time frame, we need to focus on 28 cents. We are there right now. So let's take a look at it on hourly time frame to see if the trap really wants to hold the price in X at that particular level. And right now, it really is not definitive that he's doing that. Reason being, it's because right here around this 28 cent level, the volume is extremely light. We need to see some massive or increases in volume to substantiate that he's there in the market buying up the selling. Okay. So that's the four hour chart. Three hour, getting the same type of idea. So I'm not seeing anything suggestive of the market strength coming through right now. So just like our video that we did in Bitcoin, we're going to sit the sideline until we get a definitive idea as to what the trap is trying to do with the value of X. The only thing about this forecast video here is that the market is just anticipated to continue its consolidation of range. That's it. OK. So we're going to continue to play sideways consolidation of trade in the market for X. Only thing we did on this particular forecast is that we just rearranged our two lines into the market. That's it. So look for the market in X to continue to bounce in between these two lines. And as we get nearer to each either or the support or restriction line, we need to pay attention to the amount of volume that comes through on those particular times. That will give us ideas what the trap is actually doing. So for the moment, this video is just a sideline opportunity for us to reevaluate and stand afar off to see what he's trying to do. OK, and like I told you in the beginning of this video, those are opportunities that do pop up every once in a while in the market. Every market environment is not always tradable. And this is one situation. So until the next video that we do in X, this is our forecast into the market. We're going to allow the trap to continue to hold its business, to continue to do his business. But don't forget that weekly price chart that I told you about. Now, what's your prediction? What's your forecast? This is what we're seeing. I want you to tell me what you see on the price chart for X. Make sure you maintain a profitability. I'll talk to you on the next one.